Look at Misha's here. Nice. Look at, you know what? I Actually, I, the funny thing is, though, this didn't come with fur. My yeah. wife did this as well. You added fur. I had it fur. I always add fur. You never go wrong if you add fur <laughs> and or sparkles. Or sparkles. <laughs> True enough. I have no sparkles, but I have fur. We were supposed to meet last year. Okay. And I was driving here. You were going to be at the Imperial. Yes. But you were stuck in uh, Moncton. You know what? Right? It's so funny because I was just reliving this moment. The last time we were in St. John, we were flying from somewhere. We got redirected to Montreal because it couldn't land because of the storm. Right. And then we landed in Montreal. And I was like, we have a concert tonight. And I looked at, in the plane <laughs> and I was like, bass player, saxophone player, piano, let's go. I left like three me me members of my band on the, on the on the tarmac oh, nice. <laughs> and we all uh, ran out of the plane and they flew us to Moncton mm -hmm. and we like white knuckled it to St. John and made it an hour late but You're we late. made it yeah so we miss you so I was thinking this time when we crossed here I was like am I ever going to get to speak to Misha because <laughs> we almost didn't speak I know. again so thanks for well thank being you so long so this is amazing <laughs> so good so since that time, obviously that Christmas record was great. I love that Christmas record. And obviously we get to do it every year because it's Christmas. It's a renewable resource. That's right. <laughs> but things have happened. You had another baby. I did. Congratulations. I was, actually, I was seven weeks pregnant on yeah. that tour. And I didn't tell anyone. I hadn't told anyone. And, you know, we're, I'm gun shy. I lost right. two babies. And so yeah. I usually wait. Like I'm like, baby's due next week. Surprise, I'm pregnant. Yeah. Well, some people say it right away, right? Yeah. And, uh, you're yeah. not supposed to do that. You're supposed to wait like three months. I have five kids. Oh, my goodness. Five, How I'm, are I'm you done. upright? I'm, I know. Well, incredible. <laughs> that's why my wife's not here. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you wait till three months or whatever. And yeah. this is Sterling yeah. that came along. Then, Sterling right? Marcus. And Shepard right. is the and other Shepherd one. Shepard Peter is the other Awesome yeah. names. Awesome Thank names. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for knowing that. Uh, no problem. <laughs> and Songs of Freedom. Yeah. Um, that's one thing that really happened big this yeah. past year. So tell people that don't know about that, because obviously the big debut of that was last February, I believe. That's right. And there was the whole, I mean, it was everything, a lot of social media about yeah. it. Um, it was a four-part series. It was an app. It was an adventure. It was, it was my, an first, app. my first app, which was very exciting. I mean, Songs of Freedom chronicles the history of my family in song, essentially. <laughs> Vision had commissioned um, four half-hour episodes, which Barbara Willis Sweet, the mm -hmm. filmmaker, then yeah. made into a feature-length documentary. Mm -hmm. And um, my family was in. Of course, my family was in. Right. It was about my family. It was about your family. And of yeah. course, the band that's playing, uh, you know, here tonight, were a trio situation. So it's very intimate, very uh, groovy, very like new incarnations of the tunes cool. that are on the Christmas album. Um, but there's a couple of spirituals on there that are also on oh, Songs cool. of Freedom. You know, because nobody wants to hear an entire program of all Christmas music. Whether well, they're like stretch it a bit. Exactly. Like River, Joni Mitchell. Exactly. We like to provide palate cleansers. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, so we're uh, really, really excited about being able to play together in all these different configurations and kind of let the music breathe and expand. But Songs of Freedom was like one of those things where we got to get our hands on repertoire that people may have known lo beloved hymns and spirituals and really kind of old stuff. really yeah. old stuff, public domain stuff, singer songwriters. This is my story, and this is my song, praising my We were essentially going from 1700s to present day, yeah. and Aaron Davis, you'll, you can maybe pan over and see Aaron. She'll get an idea that's kind of like a cool idea that never would have occurred to me, and then uh, constantly I have to be light on my feet to adapt to all the neat d new directions that she uh, takes at, at every turn. He did our, our we co-arranged a lot of the things, and he's the guy that, you know, makes me look better than I am. <laughs> and uh, so you need we, a good we team. A, you need a good team. Yeah. It takes a village, as you know. Yes. Whether you're growing artistically or raising kids, mm -hmm. you need a village, need that, a village. Yeah. that can support you, yeah. It 
what's so great about that is what was it your four was it like four generations back that signed mm, the book I'm, of negroes right exactly yeah. i'm fifth generation canadian yeah my family was written in the Book of Negroes, and we came up with the Black Loyalists. Um, and, you know, just kind of following that story, my the first free Gosman was written in the Book of Negroes. Oh, cool. and, and it says uh, Rose Gosman, uh, John Gosman, and gives a description of them, and then says uh, Fanny Gosman, born free. Right, right. <laughs> so born free. Very exciting. Very exciting. And it's so relevant today, though, right? I mean, just looking, we have a new prime minister. Yeah which is yeah. fantastic, a breath of fresh air to a say the least. And hopefully we're leading the charge on how we are meant to receive and welcome mm -hmm. these refugees who have had a harrowing experience. Yeah. They are just like us. If we had been forced out of our country or had yeah. to live under a dictatorship, under the constant fear of terror and explosions and war, it's un believable that we have this still happening in our day and age but we're also called to react as educated humans who know that people in need if the roles were reversed we would want whoever is receiving us to be as generous as Canada has proved themselves to be and I'm at this point very very proud to be from this Canada from yeah, this Canada not the Canada from maybe Everybody knows what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, Everybody yeah. knows. We, we all know. We all know. <laughs> and I know you're really busy, speaking of busy, because you're a mom. You're such an inspirational I'm going on in five minutes. Too. Five minutes. Okay. I'm going you're on such, five. You're such a huge inspiration and stuff, the things you've done in Africa and yeah. all these kind of things like that, and the stuff with the children. Yeah. What's kind of the high point for you? Is it the professional thing, or is it all the things that really matter in here? Because I know the music matters. That's a great But is question. it what you do with it? I think... Um, what I've been able to enjoy, the sweet consequence byproduct of having a job and, and, and a job that I'm good at and a career that I'm proud of, which by the way is made by many more people than me, is that you can use whatever notoriety, whatever popularity, whatever social media, whatever fame you enjoy to advance causes that you believe in, interests that are near and dear to you, um, even like products like you were telling me that you have food for me from your yeah, wife which absolutely. I will gladly eat and then tweet about because I know it's going to be delicious <laughs> and I think what I have been so privileged to take part in is the ripple effect of what influence we can have because there's so many voices out there so many negative voices out there yeah. that if you can be a voice for change and for positivity and for love and all of those things effective, tangible yeah, yeah. change, then it's your responsibility to do so because we have won and the lottery. Yeah. yeah, we've won the lottery being born in Canada. Absolutely. We yeah. have absolutely won the lottery. And so I just kind of want to pay it a little bit forward whenever I can. Yeah. And, and I enjoy it. I really yeah. enjoy it. And the people that I am inspired by are the people who are really enjoying their lives it doesn't mean that they're on hard times and that yeah. there isn't jet lag sure. but makes us stronger though yes together community absolutely absolutely all right and speaking of community she's got a really great show to put on <laughs> so we got to let her go it's technically so, on in three minutes technically we'll we'll let her go thank you misha <laughs>
Jeff Liberty Show.